The look on his face said that he knows that something is wrong with me. That mommy's acting different. But not exactly sure how to help. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, MRL? See, I've just gone potty and I'm about to go to bed. Riddler and Sassy say we're ready for bed, too. So, I'm sorry, but this is just going to be like one long clip of explaining the day, and then it'll be done. I've had a lot go on today. And now I'm just super duper exhausted because of a massive panic attack and not, that will be explained too. So this is going to be all in one go. So, yay. And also sorry that yesterday's vlog was not put up. It will be put up tomorrow if I remember to do it. So, yeah. Here we go. How the day went. So, work was great. Um, uh, my project, my intern project, got put up in the camel yard, and the camels loved it. It's awesome. So that's done. I just have to write a brief report and give it to my supervisor. So, yay! Um, what else happened? I saw a kid try to ride one of our goats, which I really didn't appreciate. Saw another goat steal three maps. Our normal map stealer. That was kind of funny. He accidentally bit a guy's butt to get the map that was in his back pocket. Which was really funny. <laughs> um, let's see. What else happened? Anything noteworthy? <sighs> Sorry, I'm just really tired. But yeah, then... Went home, and... My mom and my brother wanted to call in Mexican food and wanted me to go pick it up. They were in their pajamas. I was still in my work clothes. So I was like, okay, got it. So we ordered food. Then I went and picked it up. Came home. They forgot two parts of Tyler's order. So then I had to drive all the way back and get that. And then go all the way back. Eat dinner. Watch some of Captain America, which is an awesome movie. I absolutely love that movie so much. And then I went to FaceTiming Jordan. She was needing some help, and of course, I'm going to help one of my best friends. And we talked for a long time. And luckily, I was able to help her some. So, yay! Um... But then the highlight of the night, or at least the anxiety highlight, was when Lakota, my best friend, was when my best friend messaged me, saying about at work there's this guy that she works with that she thought his personality sounds like it would go along well with mine. I was like, what would you say if I set you guys up for a date? My first thought was, did you actually do this? She's like, no, not yet, or something like that. And then I went into freakout mode. Because I'm like, one, I don't know this dude at all. Two, I've not been interested in dating in a long, long time. I don't think I've been dating in, like, let me think, about two, three years. And it's also because I'm scared to date again. Um... Because I got, in my mind, I've seen a lot of people doing this. Where, like, even couples who have been together for, like, 40, 50 years just decide, oh, we're just going to break up. And that is a painful process. And I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. But, I don't know. And what if this person doesn't understand? And just, like, and then I... I admitted to my friend that I was freaking out. 
And then when, when I'm in the shower, when I went and got a shower, I had a massive, massive panic attack. Like, oh, hi, bud. What you doing there? Boop. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> you too cute. Um, like, couldn't breathe, really dizzy, lightheaded. Like, my normal panic attacks do not consist of every symptom in the book. But if it's major enough, yes, it will. So, yeah, I was not able to breathe. I was having a few moments where I felt like I was losing control and I wasn't happy. Very dizzy. But managed to finish my shower. Little boy was in the bathroom with me. He was asleep on the floor. Because, yes, he likes to be with me in the bathroom whenever I'm showering. Which, you know, I let him do that. Um, and then, whenever I got out of the bathroom, I was still not feeling good. I was in panic mode still. So, I sat down next to Amaral and just began petting him. He just, he looked at me like he was trying to figure out, he, the look on his face said that he knows that something is wrong with me, that mommy's acting different, but not exactly sure how to help. So, basically I gave him his first lesson in DBT by taking his head and I just put it on my knee and I sat there petting him and he fell asleep with his head on my knee. I was like, okay, yeah, okay. And of course I was talking to him, telling him, you know, this is what your job is going to be. Your, like, your job is to help mommy. And this is how. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm just super tired. So I think I sat on the bathroom floor for like another... 15-20 minutes before I got up, did my hair, took out my contacts, and took my meds. So, yay. <laughs> and now we are ready for bed. Because, of course, after panic attacks, I feel exhausted. As, of course, since this was a massive one, I am super tired. Um, I tried working on the vlog because I had not really had the time and energy to vol to edit the vlog. I got part way through and then I was like, I am way too tired to continue on. And I mean, I could get it rendered, but there's no way I'll have the energy to just w deal with it uploading on YouTube because it takes a while to upload. So I was like, I'll finish the rest tomorrow before I go visit Eli. I just got to remember to do that too. And, so, yeah. And I was like, well, you also haven't vlogged any today. But, you know, it's just going to all be in one clip, in one space, with this lovely brown stripey wall. Ooh, look, a pillow. So exciting. Here, let me make it more interesting. Puppy. Sleepy puppy. So... Again, sorry guys, this is going to be a short vlog, and it's not exactly the funnest vlog, but this is life. Here's life, where I work and deal with Mexican food and have panic attacks in the shower. Yeah! So now, I'm going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um... Question of the day is for those of us with anxiety disorders. Do you have like panic attacks that are in levels? Like, okay, this one's okay, this one's a little worse, and then this one's holy crap. I know I do for sure. So put your answer down below. You can be as descriptive as you want, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Emil. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Sassafras. I love you all.